How's it going everyone? Dr. Ben here, your internet doctor dad that cares about you. And today we're going to be talking about acupuncture and pain and does it help? So I want to start off this video by talking about how beneficial acupuncture is because nowadays I feel like a lot of people are moving into supplementing their healthcare with uh, alternative medicine practices such as acupuncture, Reiki, uh, herbal supplements, and vitamins, right? And I feel like uh, a huge population of my patients also are mistrustful of the medications I prescribe them and would rather do something natural or herbal. But the thing is, a lot of these have really terrible side effects. Some of them don't work at all. And, and if you think, if you are critical of the Western pharmaceutical industry, currently the alternative medicine um, corporations, they are just as bad and sometimes harmful uh, to my patients. So my job is to talk about what's out there that works and acupuncture is actually one of them that I stand by. Acupuncture is so effective in this day and age and we have so much data on how helpful it is that modern day acupuncturists actually write notes on their patients similar to how doctors write notes on their patients they uh, write them so that um, they can be coded for billing like medical billing and insurance providers insurance covers a lot of acupuncture uh, providers as well that's how effective acupuncture has gotten so we cannot we cannot deny how effective acupuncture can be when it comes to someone's treatment Acupuncture can be used for a myriad of different conditions, but today's video, I'm specifically focusing on how effective acupuncture is when it comes to pain and pain management. The first thing I wanna emphasize is that uh, many research studies have shown that acupuncture can be a supplemental treatment for chronic pain. Yes, it does help with acute pain, but we see that patients are far more happier when they have some form of chronic pain condition. And we're gonna be talking about which ones there is evidence that it's very, very helpful for. I want to emphasize that yes, you can use acupuncture alone to manage with your chronic pain as a form of conservative management, but it's entirely dependent on your choices and my patient's choices. So uh, my patient could be on some form of pain ma management through prescriptions and with acupuncture, they could also be awaiting some form of surgery. And while they're waiting on their surgery, they could use ap acupuncture to alleviate their symptoms, or if they just don't wanna have surgery altogether, because a lot of these, um, chronic pain surgeries don't often provide the best results and they don't want to go under the knife or under anesthesia so they're using acupuncture as a way to alleviate a little bit of their pain in addition to other things that they're using to manage their pain it is entirely dependent on the patient's choices and how they respond to a treatment plan so when it comes to looking at the data there's multiple reviews that looked at numerous randomized clinical controlled trials on acupuncture and different types of pain management and they found the most effective the highest good data uh, evidence with uh, pain associated with chronic low back pain not acute it does help with acute but it is really really effective for those with chronic low back pain it is really effective for those with tension headaches who get them frequently and it's been shown to be really effective for those with migraines and with an added benefit um the uh, there's been a side effect a study that was done that looked at if there was any adverse effects when it comes to acupuncture and acupuncture has been deemed to be relatively safe with very few side effects so you can do it yes the only big side effect for me and for many patients is the fact that there's needles involved but other than that there's barely any major side effects when it comes to getting acupuncture treatment there's also very very solid evidence not not as great as the ones that I've mentioned before, but there's solid evidence to support that many people benefit uh, from acupuncture with pain syndromes such as uh, chronic knee pain, osteoarthritis, and myofascial pain syndrome where um, if you haven't ever heard of that uh, disorder, it's when specific trigger points in the face can trigger pain on the face. I had a transient, a very transient reaction you know, to this and it only lasted about a couple of hours, but it is a very painful syndrome. Some people have it for life. Some people, it it starts later in their life and it stays and it doesn't go away. Some people can have it for months. So using acupun acupuncture as a form of supplemental treatment to deal with it can be beneficial. The most common side effects, honestly, in these safety studies have shown that it's uh, local pain to the area where you got treatment, which makes sense because you're having needles inserted into that area and the second one is tiredness which uh, i can definitely understand you're sitting on a table for 
an extended amount of time and getting ne needles uh, poked at you. So uh, although it's not that painful to begin with, uh, just having you know, also the anxiety around <laughs> getting that as your first treatment, it can elicit certain side effects, but those side effects are very minor. No one really needs to worry about things like infections or bloodborne diseases because common day acupuncturists are certified, trained, and receive board certifications in treatment. Like I've said, they are pretty much doctors. They write their own notes, they write their own ICD-10 codes, and they prescribe acupuncture as a form of treatment um, in this current medical system. So yes, if your insurance covers acupuncture, if you're having some form of chronic pain and you are taking medications but it's not alleviating everything that you are experiencing, maybe acupuncture can be a great supplement if you're not afraid of needles and if you're open to it, it can be a great supplement to your treatment uh, modalities. Anyways, that's my spiel on how effective acupuncture can be and how much evidence there is on how great it is for many of my patients and could be beneficial to you if you're watching this and are considering it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll share this information with someone that may benefit from this information. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my activism work. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mwah. This is Dr. Ben.